Seventh meeting of the Conservation Commission to uh, order. Uh, be advised, all these meetings are being recorded. Uh, we will, we will. I'll read. Uh, all public hearings and meetings heard by just meet the Rainham Conservation Commission on Wednesday, June 7, 2023, 5.30 p.m. in the Rainham Veterans Memorial Town Hall, Donald L. McKinnon Meeting Room, 558 South Main Street, Rainham, Mass. are relative to filings and joint hearings and or meetings under the Mass General Law, Chapter 100-131, as amended in the Town of Rainham Wetland Protection by Law. Good evening. Uh, first up is a continued notice of intent for 280 Church Street. Frank Gallagher, Gallagher Engineering in Foxborough, and I'm here with the owner and applicant, uh, John Noblin, is King Philip Realty Trust. And this is um, this is uh, continued from a couple of weeks ago. We submitted a plan uh, to construct a garage uh, behind the building that is 280 Church Street, which is a uh, multi-unit apartment building. Well, this one's 280. We're on 280 right now. Okay. Um, and uh, so we have um, the garage, which you can see is this uh, dark box right here. It's... Um, just one second, Frank. If you want to just pull that table back so you have access to the okay. kitchen around. So... Um, what we have is a, a 28 by 56 garage. Um, here's, the, here's the existing building. This is a parking lot that's behind the building. And um, there's a wetland that's shown in this green line. Uh, this pink line's a 25 foot buffer zone to that wetland. And then the orange is a 100 foot buffer. So we do fall entirely within that 100 foot buffer zone with this garage, so we filed a, a full notice of intent with the commission. Um, we have, we do have, we're proposing also to extend the paving. The existing edge of pavement is, is this line right here. And we're adding a little bit to that just as an entry to get into this uh, garage. And um, uh, we limit our work to the 25-foot buffer zone. You can see we have an erosion control line that goes down both sides of the building, and then it follows that 25-foot buffer. So we have no work proposed within that. So we're no closer than 25 feet at any point to the wetland line with, with our limit of work. Um, and what it is is John is finding that the tenants that he has in these buildings are, are um, well, he's building garages to try to accommodate the needs of the tenants that he has there. Um, so uh, there's very little grading. You can see uh, there's a little bit of sloping that would come down. So there's a little bit of fill to be placed on the two sides of the building, but really uh, the grade in the back pretty much stays where it is. Um, but just to get enough clearing and the ability to work around the garage, we've, we've pushed our limit of work to this point. Um, not so much for filling, but really just to, to have the space to work. Um, and uh, I guess that's about it, really. 
Okay. Um, Bill, myself, and Azu went out there uh, a couple weeks ago. We did a site visit. Um, we did find a couple issues. One is the fact that you were told when this all started, no more fill, no more digging, no more nothing. Foundation has already been dug. Um, so, this strike one. Um, there is an erosion control in place there. Um, I think we agreed that it wasn't um, sufficient, it needed hay bills. Right, and so fence. And so fence. Uh, so that's going to have to be fixed and replaced. Um, but as far as the wetland line itself, um, we all agreed that it was accurate. Sure, just state your name. It's John Norman. I own the property. I have for almost 50 years. When you told us not to do any more filling, we didn't do any more filling on 280 Church Street. Nothing was touched there in that time you told me. The only thing I dug was a few weeks ago, the conservation said they wanted to do some test holes behind 260 Church Street. So I just think it was a big deal to dig the foot now because that showed the whole a parcel of what the fill was or what the material was for that whole thing. So I, did, I, I apologize for doing that, but it, it, it said they were going to do test holes there, so why do test holes if I have to dig this out and I can show you the whole thing anyway? Well, when we didn't do any filling for when you said behind 280 or any digger from that time, not behind 280. All right, well, I'll disagree on that one, but no, no, when I, we, no, when we, we disagree. Because we didn't do any filling behind 280 from the time you said no, don't. When I first talked, when I first met with the other staff who on your first project, farther on down by the river, yeah. I investigated this whole thing. There were piles of dirt there. Right. Those piles of dirt have all been spread out. So that in my mind is, I'm not done. I gave you a minute. That is filling. Okay. When we talked to Frank about doing test pits, or test, testing for the wetlands, we don't dig up with an excavator to test for the wetlands. We do an auger or a shovel, and that's what we did when we went there okay, for I the site visit. I apologize for that. I realize that, but there's rules in place for things. There's reasons we go through all this, and this is where we're at, okay? okay. It should, it, shouldn't have been done. It was asked once, it was asked twice, did nothing be done. Right. So you can't it, you can't escape from that. I'm sorry. Alright, but I just want to clarify one thing. The Philly you saw that when you said was pushed over wasn't pushed over. Peter and Paul Manila stored some material there that they took out of a job up the street and then they took it back out. So the, the, the fill that you think was spread wasn't spread. It was taken out of there because they used it on a house over on Hill Street. So I, I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. All right. Um, any other comments from the board? It's quite a slope there to the back of the building that we noticed. Yeah. And that's why we asked for the silt sock mm -hmm. versus the uh, the straw wattle. Uh, you're going to be able to accommodate that. Hay, 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 bale, hay yeah. bales. Sorry. The hay bales with the silt fence. We yeah. can, yep, we can certainly do that. And uh, you want to. If, I mean, if you want to make that a condition of your yeah, approval, we'll, yeah. we'll satisfy that condition for sure. We want to verify that before we put it? Or no, because no, you're saying no more work can be done until you get a, you give it a so then you give them a lot of conditions and then you stipulate okay. And then, you know, what I can do and what I typically do is uh, stake the erosion control once it's put in place, I, I inspect it and I write a letter to the commission. Yeah, once that's you write the letter and get it to me, I will come out and check it, mm -hmm. make sure that it's recorded. Mm -hmm. And uh, but nothing else done until mm -hmm. that is all in place. It's not acceptable to me to just use words. I'm sorry, what? It's not acceptable to me to just use words at this point. Yeah. We need to have something more. 
So if any other work is done, there needs to be a fund. So with that, you could put the stipulation that um, if any further work is noted between now and the time that um, permits are all issued and paperwork's all straightened out, um, that any enforcement order fines will be retroactive to today's meeting. I think we should put a number on it. I don't think it should be anything less than that. He's obviously not listening to this. Okay. I'll be welcome to any suggestions. I, I think it's the maximum amount. If he does any work, it goes maximum amount all the way through. So, what's our maximum per day? The maximum per day is 300 plus. Starting on, starting on the first day we saw work in that, that it was not approved work. Okay, I'll have to go back to my notes and get yep. a date. But, all right. I don't think it's anything less than that. All right. He's not listening. Okay, great. <coughs> motion then? Uh, motion to include a fine back to the first day of noted work if we see any further work on this. Second? Motion made and second. Get that done. Yeah, the only uh, suggestion I will make though is so, uh, any further work in violation. Because if you approve it on the. Before approved. Approved. Right. Okay. Before approved. Right. Okay. Before approved. Okay. Okay. All right. Motion made and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Unanimous. All right. So back to the project at hand. Uh, any additional information on that? I don't think so. All right. Uh, would you like to close the hearing? Wait, Please. I don't know if anybody said Oh, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. Anybody in the audience uh, have any comments about this project? Seeing none. Okay. Would you like to make motion to, I mean, would you like to close the hearing? Yes, please. Okay. Motion to close the hearing at 280, 260 or 280? 280. 280. I do have a number somewhere. Second? Second. So motion made and second to close the hearing on 280 Church Street. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. Determination of equality to 60 Church Street. Okay, and again, Frank Gallagher, Gallagher Engineering in Foxborough, and uh, representing uh, John Noblin, who's the owner and um, the applicant here. Uh, this is just the next <coughs> building down. Uh, the one we just looked at is here, and um, 260 is just the next one that would be, um, let's see, I guess it's uh, south. It south of, uh, of what we just looked at. It's just a continuation of that same wetland line. It actually comes down and then turns and starts to run back north. Uh, and then the 25 foot buffer and the 100 foot buffer. This is proposed to be um, an, a 28 by 84 garage, so it's a bigger garage. Uh, but it barely just catches the edge of the 100 foot buffer zone, at least the corner of the building does. But then with grading and clearing, um, it brings us out to uh, this line that I've shown an erosion control barrier at. Uh, it's outside of the 50 foot buffer to the wetland. And if you scale from the, from the closest point of work to the edge of the wetland, it's about 66 feet. That's the, essentially going to be the toe of the slope when, when all the work is complete. Um, 
So given that everything is outside of the 50-foot buffer zone and the building is almost entirely outside the 100-foot buffer zone, we filed a, an RDA on this one. Um, and uh, so I guess what we'd like from the commission would be uh, a negative determination on this. But you do have a corner. Uh, it's within a 25-foot, correct? Um, no. No. This is this this line okay. is the 25 foot buffer, okay. and our work ends right here. Okay. Yeah, the um, this is a 30 scale. So uh, if you look at uh, the green line, our edge is wetland, and you go to the end of our hay bale line, at the closest point, it's 66 feet, which is right about here, and then you see it breaks away from the wetland in both directions from there. What's the slope? Um, let's see. 26 to 24? That's um, it's a 3 to 1 slope. Drops two feet in six, so so, again, so a foot every for, three feet. Horizontal. For hay bales as opposed to so, so. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Because of the slope. Yep. So that, I guess, I I mean, I don't know whether you, I guess you can add that as a condition. Yes, you can. Yeah. Does it really do? Yeah. So yeah. Typically, if it's outside 50, and it's much more well outside 50, so yep. in full blue notice of intent will not be necessary. But you can issue a negative three yep. that requires the erosion control to be installed where it is proposed on the plan, certified, and inspected by the commission right. before gotcha. the work will start. Okay. All right, anybody from the audience have any questions, concerns? Anything else? No? Dave, can I just speak? Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. One of the biggest things is to build this garage. I'm having a lot of trouble with the, the dumpster areas. It's all my city complexes in town. we are getting all kinds of outside rubbish almost every day. So on King Phillips Street, I fenced in the area, and I'm, I'm policing that better. But I'm still getting a lot. And on Church Street, it was ridiculous. I'm getting rid of rubbish from East Taunton everywhere. Mattresses, refrigerators, you name it. So the reason for the garage is at the end of the garage, now I'm going to put the dumpsters at the end of the garage, have that fenced in with a recycling area so I can control it a little better. But that was the reason for building the garage, the main reason, to try to control the situation because it's just getting worse every week. I'm sure other people in town are seeing the same thing. Yeah, it definitely is because my grandma lives at the King Philip Street Apartments and it's definitely an issue. This week alone I took out three things of People would even leave their name on stuff, and they had to give it to the police. <laughs> right. Just make sure that you're working away from. No, the dumpsters will be where they are. Okay. They're still going to be. That's the end of the garage. Oh, that's where the end of the garage will be. Okay. So that's where right. it's going to be. Same, okay. same place. And, right. and the other thing is, that I was going to put the kids' basketball hoop on the other end of the garage, so I could take it out of that area where the trucks turn. Like I did on control three, I put the basketball hoop at the end of the garage. Yeah. So. That they have a safer place. Okay. All right. Uh, motion. Okay. Uh, motion to issue a negative, a negative three determination on two sixty uh, Church Street with a stipulation that hay bales be installed with a silt fence as indicated on the plan and be inspected prior to work. Motion made. Seconded. Second. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, and I guess we have one more. Yeah, one more. Just give me one second.
right. Uh, next up is a um, continued request for abbreviated notice of resource delineation for 260 Church Street. Um, yeah, so Frank Gallagher still. <laughs> and, uh, so let me just kind of get everyone oriented if I could. Um, where we just were was these two buildings, and Church Street is out here. And if you've been by this, you'll, you know, there's a double, double lane entrance. It comes off of Church Street, and that's this area. Behind all of these buildings is um, a 48-acre parcel, um, all within the town of Rainham. In fact, this is this is the town line between Rainham and Taunton, right here. Um, John has filed uh, a preliminary plan with the planning board to. Um, to try to determine, you know, what the buildability of this back land. And uh, one of the things that the planning board has asked us was to show them a, um, a wetland line for this property. So we hired um, Ken Thompson to delineate all of the wetlands that are out here. Um, and, uh, and then I located them all, plotted them up, and this, this is what we have. So there's a several different series. There's a B series that that's this line right here. Uh, it comes all the way to the Tom River at the northern edge of the property. Um, there's a C series that kind of runs back the other way. D series of wetland flags. So everything that's shaded on this plan is wet, and everything that's just white is is upland area. So, uh, you know, before we can really move forward and finalize our process with the planning board, we <coughs> needed to come to this commission and uh, get an agreement on, on what we've delineated for our edge of wetlands out here. So, uh, so that's what we have. It's a, you know, it's a pretty nice property, quite honestly. If you're out here, you can easily think you're, you know, somewhere in New Hampshire or Maine. It's, it's uh, all wooded and, um, you know, it's, uh, as I said, quite a bit of upland, but uh, there is, you know, there is some wetland uh, that comes north to south through the property. There's some that uh, just abuts the Taunton River. And then um, you can see there's a, a finger of wetland here that that this is where it runs to the south, and that's that's the um, the wetland area that we were just looking at for the two lots that had those garage filings on them. So, um, bring the board up to speed. Uh, I zoomed myself and Bill went out there uh, last week, and uh, we walked a portion of it, and every flag that we saw um, we were in agreement with the um, the botanist so um, it's our conclusion that the wetland line is correct probably said mm -hmm. yeah, we, we spot checked it we didn't walk the whole perimeter it would have taken us a week but yeah. uh, we did spot check some of them and they look fine Area, yeah. Um, whether there was a stream, 
said we uh, well there was there was a stream but if you remember it wasn't flowing and right. but it was there was standing water in it yeah, yeah the, I mean I can tell you from when I located the flags there was an intermittent stream in, in there But it's, you know, if you look at the topography, it's, you know, it's pretty, uh, it, it does really kind of define that stream. And they, you know, it, the banks come up fairly quickly from there. Okay. All right. Uh, any questions, concerns from the audience? Go ahead, John. David, this one, the plan would ask us to do this because we asked to cluster the whole, the whole parcel of all the buildings like we did on King Phillips Street. Because I, I wanted to build some garages between the buildings, and I can't do that because the lot lines are there. Like on King Philip Street, that's all one parcel. So for us to cluster it, the flag board asked to, to flag all the weapons for the whole parcel. So, and, and then, so then we eliminate the lot line. So that would be considered one parcel, it would be taxed as one parcel. And it, it, it makes it possible for me to uh, utilize in between the buildings if I want to put a four day garage or something. I just wanted to know why you did it. Yep. And as you know, Frank said it, it's a it's a very pristine uh, wetland area out there, and especially along the river edge. So the fire department has mentioned that they'd like to have some type of um, emergency access at some point somewhere along there because they don't have any way to get into the river from I think from South Street all the way down. To there, so that's something I, I, we don't have to pursue it. But I said I'm willing to do that. Yeah. And we do have it. It is kind of like a beach at the river there, near the bridge. It's not a big drop off. Yeah. So it would be a good place to put an access point if they needed an emergency vehicle. All right. Uh, so I guess the motion is in order. Yeah, the only, the only, uh, yeah, just make a note in your motion that you're only verifying the wetlands and that's delineated. You're not giving any opinion on any other resources that may exist that have not been reviewed. Determination applicability for 110 South Street East. It's 221. It's 221. It's not 221. Not 260, but on the agenda. I'm sorry, what did I say? Number four. Number four is request for determination of applicability. No, you have, a, you have one, two, three, four, seven, four. Oh, I'm sorry. 260 Church Street. I'm sorry. That's we dealt that with while we were doing it. Okay, so you're 
So I'm sorry. I apologize for that. That was dealt with at the time. Okay. Because they also filed a, 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 a request for determination for her. Good catch. All right. Just give me one second here. Sure. Uh, so you're saying it was in hand read? Yes. I had RDA written down. Oh, yeah, it's a review news of resource area designation. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My apologies. I, for some reason, I had written on the envelope RDA. We're just opening the hearing, right? Yeah, we You have an open hearing? No, no. Yeah, we need to approve yeah, a pad. Yeah. I just. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, certificate of. Yeah, yeah, this is a certificate of uh, mailing. That's fine. This is just a receipt that you paid. That's not that the ad itself. That's just a receipt that you paid for the, for them to do the ad. But that's not. So you, you need the actual copy. Of the well, ad? that's what we need to read yeah. in the record. Okay. No, okay. I can I can get you that. I, it's my understanding this is going to be continued anyways. Yeah, but we can't we open can't the hearing without reading the ad. It needs to be a public hearing ad that we need to present before anything can yeah, be Email. I have a copy of the email. If you can show it to me electronically, yeah. we'll accept that. As long as it has a date on it, when is it done? This is a, this is the request to advertise it. Yeah. This is not the ad in the paper. No. You need the ad in the paper. This is an so email. So I need I need the either the actual tear sheet from the newspaper, okay. or a lot of times people will give us electronic copy of this ad, but it'll have on it the date it went into the paper. It will have the newspaper heading on it. This is just our correspondence between you and the. Uh, of uh, the people saying that, you know, they're going to do the ad. Can we just table this and I'll try to get it? And you can move on to... Yeah, if you can, yeah, we'll yeah, table it for now. It. You may be able to research it on, uh, uh, on Gazette, I think it's Gatehouse Media. Yeah. You may okay. search their website and you'll know, find it. Another river because there's some people here. What you're doing? Work for anybody in the audience here. Um, we're giving the applicant a few minutes to try to research to find the ad because, in order to be a legal hearing, it has to be advertised in one of the local newspapers. Um, and his paperwork here says that. He applied for it, but we need to actually see the ad with the date it went in, because it needs to be advertised for five business days to make it a legal hearing. So we're just going to give him a few minutes to um, see if he can come up with it and table it. Apologize the delay, and we're just going to go on to the next one for the moment. All right. Um, notice of intent for number zero, Pine Street, DEP number 269-1041. Thank you. If you look at the next 
page that blew it up. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, May 26th. May 26th? Yep. Yeah, which was, um, yeah. 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 Monday was the 29th, so which was the holiday. Holidays, so, one, two, yeah, three, it's yeah, it's plenty. Yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 It was in the paper on the 26th. 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 So, wait a minute, 26th was uh, Friday. Friday. So, Friday's one. Yeah. And then there were. Monday's a holiday. Yeah. So, two, three. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, legal notice, Commonwealth of Massachusetts Town of Raynham Conservation Commission notice of public hearing. And as provided in the Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 131, Section 40 of the Raynham Conservation Commission uh, will hold a public hearing on application for us. Uh, seal and development for notice of intent. Located at Zero right. Line Street in uh, Raina, Mass, for the construction of infrastructure to support the proposed residential subdivision. The properties are owned by the Brothers Realty Trust and are shown on partials 55, 55A, 56A, 58, and 59 on the Raina Assessor's uh, Map 13. The hearing will be held on Wednesday, June 7, 2023 starting at 5.30 p.m. in the Raynham Town Hall, located at 558 South Main Street, Raynham. Copies of the NOI application and plans will be reviewed at the RCC office during the normal business hours at the Raynham Town Hall. The RCC office may be contacted by calling 508-824-2706. All interested persons are encouraged to attend the public hearing. W Engineering with an office in Taunton representing the applicant CLM development. Um, we have a <coughs> notice of intent before you for a proposed residential subdivision at the end of Pine Street and Rainham. Um, on my board is the existing conditions plan, um, which shows some wetland resources on it that were confirmed in the past. We did receive an ORAD from this board. Um, Bill and Azu and I and our wetlands consultant walked the site um, and confirmed that to the west is a BBW that borders on the Bassett Knoll Brook. There's a small um, flood zone way out associated with the Bassett Knoll Brook. There is an isolated land subject to flooding in the central portion of the site. Another one here. And then there's some um, non-jurisdictional isolated vegetated wetlands. In the existing condition right now, all this will divide, so all storm water flows from this side of the site to this uh, BBW. On this side, it's, it's kind of interesting because the water um, all goes into this isolated wetland, and then when it gets down to about here, the soil changes and it becomes very, very sandy, and then the water infiltrates into the ground goes to this isolated land and uh, gets infiltrated into the ground. So that's the existing condition. Here is our proposal. We're proposing a 27 lot residential subdivision. Uh, right now we're in front of the planning board. Uh, we have filed a definitive subdivision plan and we have um, also engaged niche engineering to review the project for both uh, planning board rules and regulations, compliance with zoning, and um, compliance with the Wetland Protection Act and this board's bylaw. Um, 
So what we're looking to do here is come in off of Pine Street with a cul-de-sac road that runs all the way up. Uh, it's actually pretty interesting because it just can, it comes down slightly and then continues all the way up to the top. Uh, we have a small road here, Mia Circle. Uh, this is known as Austin Court. And right now this little section right here is um, known as Maple Avenue. It's not known by anyone other than somebody looking through the land court records. Um, but that's why we call it Maple Avenue. Uh, that will be changing in the near future. The plan board told us that, that uh, there's a Maple Street in Rainham, so we'll have to change that name. Uh, but for now, we'll call it Maple Avenue. Um, the 27 lots are located along the, the roadway. There's only uh, one, two, five lots here off of Maple. And we have no lots along the front of Pine Street because the grade is so steep here. Um, so it's, it would be too difficult to develop this area. Um, and we have this isolated land subject to flooding here. So, well, the last thing to mention, which I failed to mention before, is there is a cemetery here on the top of a, a, a hill. Uh, so that's obviously being preserved and we're at, uh, providing an access easement to that. That's outside the buffer zone, but worth mentioning otherwise. Um, so we're not looking to do any work in any jurisdictional wetland. Um, most of this project is outside the 100-foot buffer zone to the BBW. I didn't highlight it, but it's basically out here. So a small portion of the roadway is within the 100-foot buffer zone. Then um, for our drainage concept here, like I said, in existing condition, a small amount of water flows towards this wetland. But the majority of this site all comes down and ends up in this isolated land. So our job as an engineer is to make sure that we decrease the rate of runoff to, off to downstream of butters. But all the water comes into here is infiltrated in the pre-development condition, so we're proposing to do the same. Uh, the only thing that we are also charged with doing is making sure we don't discharge any uh, dirty water. So at each one of these locations, we're proposing a, a hydrodynamic separator, which is a type of device that spins the water around in it. Any dirt, grit, silt, trash, debris, etc., would get spun down to the bottom and it would let it out, and that can be cleaned out uh, by the DPW with their standard equipment. Um, all of our drainage calculations, we've, we've done a stormwater uh, checklist, we've put together a drainage uh, report that shows all of uh, that information, and again, that's being reviewed by Niche Engineering. Uh, we haven't received any word back from them yet, but I spoke to Steve Ventresca, he was expecting to have a letter out this week. So once that happens, we will meet and we can have that discussion. We do have a file number, which is great. Um, and I'm here to answer any questions that the uh, board might have or any of the abutters might have. I don't expect to close the hearing today, obviously. We're waiting for a lot of uh, different input from a lot of other different people. Um, so we're kind of in that phase of asking for input while everybody's giving it. So when we make changes to the plan, we can accommodate everybody's input. You still have two lots uh, inside the 100 foot, right? The ones on that cul-de-sac at the bottom. Lot eight, uh, five, and six. Lot down five. Lot and oh, down here. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah, some of the lots will be, and so what will happen is when it comes time to develop lots that are within the 100 foot buffer zone will file the individual notice of intent. That's right. Okay. And if some are and you're, outside, you're but you're you're us work. do that in with your orders anyway. Okay. And if need be, we might have to file a couple of requests for determinations because we'd be close. Yeah. Okay. But that's a good point. This plan and this permit isn't requesting any work on the individual house lots for the homes and things like so that. So what are you requesting? The, the, the roadway and the infrastructure and the drainage. Yep. Just for uh, purposes on your drawings here, mm -hmm. you have the wetlands in upland, upland opposite. Oh, which one? Yeah. 
the back one. Oh, it flipped over. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh oh, Charlie's going to be looking for a discount. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I like it that way. <laughs> Deny everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, too, now that I'm looking at my own plan, there is a natural heritage line here, um, but all of the work is outside of that. So we did copy them, but there's no work proposed at this okay. time within that, so we won't need their input. Is there, uh, anything else you want to add? Any comments at this time? No, we'll, we'll uh, still looking at it. So with that, there is some water that comes through here, and Maple Ave, as it is right now, is a, like a raised up, not ancient, but an old road made of like rocks and things. And the water basically bleeds through it and, and comes across the road. So what we're looking to do is pick that up um, in a culvert and bring it into our drainage system to, to bring it directly down here so that it just doesn't come down and wipe out the street or, or affect Pine Street at all. So we're uh, looking to improve that. Um, isolated vegetated wetlands, again, it's non-jurisdictional according to the uh, Wetland Protection Act. Um, and the reason I put it on the plan is because it was potentially uh, still jurisdictional under um, U.S. wetlands regulations. But I believe the recent uh, decision by the Supreme Court has clarified that so um, this wouldn't be considered because it's completely disconnected from any downstream wetlands um, would be considered just isolated wetlands and not a federal wetland so have you looked at it for a vernal pool we didn't see any evidence of vernal pools in there or anything else like that so we did walk through it um, when we went in here when did you go we went in here multiple times because we came through the ORAD last year sometime. Yeah. Um, so we've been in here in the fall. Uh, fall. In the fall. In the fall. We have been in here in the fall and the winter and all the time. So in the spring. In the spring. Throughout the year. Throughout the year. I've, I've been going in there a lot, quite a bit. It, it the spring's when you figure out whether there's a vernal pool. April. April yeah. in particular. December through April is like where they want you to, to look at that. So I was just wondering if you were in there at that time. I have, yeah, I've looked in there and I didn't see any um, Indicators of vernal pool. The water in here actually gets pretty deep and it's like vertical. Like it's pretty interesting. I, I suspect that at some time a farmer or somebody might have gone in here and taken some material out. There's a small pile next to it. So the sides are interesting. They, they just go straight down. So in vernal pools, like when frogs and things lay their eggs, they lay a little shallow and at the edges of that. When this gets filled with water, it's like you get down the edge and you jump. In, you know, and like splash right in. So there's no like shallow water on the side. It's, it's actually pretty interesting. So I've been looking and I've been nervous about it, but I haven't seen, um, you know, things that I would see as a vernal pool myself. And no evidence that it's washing over to Pine Street. No, that's the other great thing is um, this dark line in here is what I calculated to be the 100 year flood elevation. Um, because that's how we calculate isolated land subject to flooding. So um, that line right there would be that would be that elevation. Um, there is a catch basin at the end of Pine Street. So what would end up happening is if this, let's say we got a 900 year storm and this all flooded to the point where it was going to hit that way, it could start entering that catch basin. If that failed, it would go over Pine Street in that one. There's a low spot here. There's a wetland across the street, there's a culvert, and then it heads over here to the Taunton River. So with that area there, how do you plan on leaving it just as is? Treat it as is, that's right. No, no improvements, no disturbance? Nothing, that's Nothing right. Yet. Yep. So it would be a natural area that would discharge in the water too. We'll have to bring some piping uh, closer to it, you know, to direct the stormwater to it. Yeah. Um, we have flared end sections with level spreaders and riprap and things to slow the water down. We have the uh, water quality devices above it, 
but other than that, no, no adjustments. Are there any other comments? No, not at this time. Anyone from the audience have any comments, concerns? <laughs> All right, so uh, request to continue. I don't want to request that you approve it first, but no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, nobody has any questions. Yeah, sounds good. I don't, know <laughs> the problems, but it I don't see a detail on the culvert. Am I looking in the wrong places? Or? Um, the culvert, right now, I just show it on the um, drainage plans, essentially. So I, just have a, details on it. I just have a flared end, and it, it just comes in. So it wasn't anything too spectacular. There's not a lot of flow that comes through here, to be honest with you. The soils on either side are very, very sandy, so it doesn't actually so, generate a lot of stormwater. There's a little bit of base flow through there, but um, not a rush of water. The contributing drainage areas to like about here, and then everything that comes around this way or heads up through um, Bayberry, right? Because Bayberry is right here, and we'll head through that wetland system around to here. So we're at the, like the very top of a, a smaller drainage area. So there's like a field there now, if I'm picturing it correctly, right? There's a field right here, yeah. Okay. Was there a DEP number with us? Do you have a DEP number? We did, yes. yeah, we received a DEP number. Um, it's 1041. Okay. Right, um, when do you think you'll be your next hearing with playing? We have a next hearing next week with them to discuss uh, comments from uh, DPW. And then I believe they're going to summer um, hours. Yeah. So then next meeting would probably be like mid, late July. Okay. So we're looking to have that meeting in July. You have that meeting in July, okay. Yeah. So you can all your ducks in a row with them. And yeah, so, so we'd be changes. looking to have, um, by that time, gone over the review letter from the review engineer. Yeah and have comment back to them by then. Okay. Um, so it's, we're looking to have a pretty fruitful meeting on, in July. We have a July 12th. We have a July 12th. Okay, so I think request that the board uh, continue to July 12th. Okay. Um, and just forward us any correspondence from um, Niche that uh, would concern us. Obviously, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Right. Couldn't do, we do a question on Send us an email that will confirm your request for okay. yeah, we need an contribution. Email for that statement. Okay. Uh, motion to uh, continue zero Pine Street DEP number two six nine ten forty one to July twelfth. Second. Second. Motion made. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Unanimous. All right. Thank you. All right, sir, are we able to find anything? Yes. I found it too, but I cannot pull up the whole, for some reason, the internet. It was on 530 published. On 530? 530. 530. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was advertised on May 30. I saw it time. Mm -hmm. 530. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Um, legal notice uh, one ten South Street. Legal notice there will be a public hearing on June seventh, twenty twenty three, at five thirty p.m. at the Veterans Memorial uh, Town Hall, located at five fifty eight South Main Street, Raymond, Mass. To consider an abbreviated notice of resource area delineation in red, filed by George Perry in order to verify the existing existence of a bordering vegetated wetland line at 110 South Street, Cessus Map 17, Lot 39 in Rainier, Mass. This hearing will be in pursuit of Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Do 
ahead, sir. Yeah, good evening. For the record, my name is Jeff Palmer from Northeast Engineers and Consultants. Um, we're here representing Gregory Perry, the applicant for the AMREDS before you tonight. Uh, quite simply, what we're looking to do is establish the eastern edge of the bordering vegetative wetland that's located at the property at uh, 110 South Street East. Uh, the property is located just to the north of Sandy Hill Drive and just to the south of William Street on the west side of South Street East. Um, the, the line that you see was delineated by Outback Engineering um, by, I, I don't know if it was Gregory or his, uh, his wife or somebody um, had done it back in November of 2022. Uh, we were asked to come aboard as part of somebody looking to buy the property um, where, where the real estate agent for the, for the potential buyer uh, wanted to get the line established before they agreed to purchase it. So we, we, we are here basically on behalf of a potential buyer but still representing the owner uh, of the property at this point. So what I did was I had my wetland scientist uh, consultant go out and walk the line, I had no issues with the line, uh, so therefore we're, and the flags are already in place, they were in good condition. Like I said, they were, they, they were flagged in November of 2022. Um, so we agree with the, uh, the line that Outback had set. Uh, so, you know, at this point, we're just looking to get that established. There may be um, some additional upland area in the back. We're not looking to do anything or, or in the back there. Um, from what I was told, if there is, it wouldn't be sufficient, uh, wouldn't be usable for anything. So uh, we're just kind of conceding everything beyond or, or to the west of the, the line that we are showing. Um, so it, it's pretty straightforward. There's 28 flags that were set. Uh, wetland flag one here, wrapping all the way around, and then that wetland flag 28 up near William Street on the north side of the property. Right. So with that, I'd be happy to answer any questions as best I can. So this this whole parcel was flagged in November of 22. Correct. Okay. And you're looking just to reconfirm the existence of it. Well, we haven't confirmed uh, it yet. Oh, I thought so we gave you reconfirmed. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It, wait, was no. Never, it was never sorry. formally submitted. It was never reviewed. It was never. No, it was. It was surveyed. It was my understanding. It was surveyed and put on a plan. I didn't have a copy of the plan, but we what we did is just. I had my wetland scientist walk the flags that were set. But he agreed with them. Oh, said okay. they look good. My, my understanding. I'm sorry. Yeah. So then we surveyed it, put it on the plan, and submitted it okay. for approval. Well, we need to go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We need to go out and look at it. Yep. All right. Um, just for the audience, the only thing we're here for right today is to talk about the wetland flags that are on the map. We're not here to talk about any potential development or anything like that. So what the process is going to be right now is we're going to set a time and date that we can get a couple of board members and our <coughs> engineer here to go out and walk that line and to either agree or disagree with it. That's what we're here for today. Okay. So with that, anybody have any questions, please direct them to me. I'm at 86 South Street. There's a man-made culvert that goes through that property that feeds into mine. That's not showing on here. Okay. A man-made culvert yeah. off of when, South Street? When we built it, um, our contractor, it caved in. We had to replace that. Um, Mr. Perry stopped us from building until we replaced it. Okay, 89, you're at 89? 86, I'm 86. I'm 86, right this is uh, Law 37-1. Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah. Right. And you're saying there's a cul there's a cul there's culvert that goes culvert that goes through my property and it comes from there. That's not showing on here at all. When we get a lot of rain, my backyard fills up with water. I get two feet of water up to my pool. I shouldn't have to be doing this. I replaced that pipe twice. Made it bigger so I would get rid of more water. It's not happening. Okay. All right. Anyone else? So we'd have to go look and go ahead, sir. As you stated you walked the property. Did you actually Wait, see? Wait, yes, sir. You got to address I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did okay. It, so no board members actually walked the property at this time? Not, not yet. This, 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 is, this is the first step. Their engineer went out okay. and 
agreed with the flags that was put out there before. Now, so, I'm just a point of information, Mr. Chairman. It doesn't matter what he agreed with, what he's here before, because that's how you got confused with thinking that we yes, reviewed sorry, it before. You're right, you're right. So the information that I, I back reviewed it, did it, and he's, it's irrelevant. He had an, an application before us. He has a board that's review, uh, prepared report for yeah, That's all we're here for. Yeah. I kind of stated it wrong. Yeah. So they put what the flags out there. Work next step is we're going out to either agree with them or disagree with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And but on this proposal, would that there is no that, proposal there. Sorry? There is no proposal. It's, it's a proposal regarding where they're staking out a wetland from this private company. Directly. It's not a proposal. The, the, the law says before you do any work, yes. you go and you establish where your flags, flags right? Correct. And the commission so, reviews it. Correct. This is their proposal of where they think the wetlands is, correct? This is their delineation. The proposal says you are proposing activity. The word delineation simply says they, you go out there. And you look at the act. Okay. There are certain species of plants. You go there and identify those plants, whether they're present or not. So on this plan, if that was existing, would that have to be shown? Correct. Okay. okay. That's, that's, that's what they're showing. Okay. That is their understanding of where it's existing. Right. She's stating that there's some type of a, a pipe or something like that. Would that have to be on here? Or is that right. That is, that is part of a, a, a yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can I just ask a question with it? Sure. sure. The, the culvert that you're speaking of, the, is the culvert on your property? Yes, it comes through my property. It's not this that side. It starts over there on various side. land. She's over there. She's over there. Right. She's, she's right down there. gradient of, of this property. Right. So okay. she's saying it's in here. You can see okay. the water coming through well, all that, the time. Right. <coughs> plus you, plus you. Yeah, Thank because you. you're downhill of a what? Right. You shouldn't have to be draining it all the time. Okay, then, then, yeah, we'll, we'll look at that and, and uh, go from there. All right, anybody else? Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Uh, well, in your map 17, lot 27. Okay. Uh, what is the criteria for notifying people when this happens? I know they put it in the paper. Some of you don't get the paper. I know that they're supposed to send out letters who gets a letter? Anyone that is a direct abutter gets notified via um, what we call the green cards. It's a uh, registered mail. Okay. Because I did, for my lot, and split it in half and whatever else, I had to notify anybody within 300 feet of me. Is that because I needed a variance? Yes. Because it's the gentleman not the your be notification requirement for planning board is and board of appeals is different. For what lands the state law is, anybody within 100 feet of your property. Okay. Because there's somebody that's sandwiched between somebody else's property over there, which would be pretty much uh, Elder Ribeiro and so and so. The next person over here, I know the water runs through there and they have sump pumps in the basement. That's the, the way that the water runs. It has for years. It used to be a manhole in the middle of the street before they went up there and put sewer and everything else that was probably there for years and I don't know what they did with it but because the water runs from there to the river. So that person was never notified. Okay, yeah, it's only, if, if they were over the 100 foot, they wouldn't be notified. That's okay. just the water. There were 18 about us that were notified and obviously everybody within 100 feet. I'm just asking and, the question yeah, because you couldn't be here, so. And just remember here, we're here for the wetlands flags Right. And that's it for right now. Okay. As far as the notification, I just want to put a statement on that. So we were here the last time and it got continued. Yes. Were we supposed to receive another notification for this meeting? No. no. Even though it was in the paper? No. Uh, what I don't remember no. what happened last time. It was canceled. It was. There was, there was a it mistake with the ad in the paper. The it ad in the paper, published. the responsibility of running the ad was, I wasn't. Okay. So my, question, the process. my question is, I received the original notice, I showed up for the meeting, the meeting got canceled because he didn't put it in the paper. This time, I never received the notice. Was I supposed to receive another notice? Well, supposed to, right, because you know, that meeting was never opened. That hearing was never opened. 
Okay, so how, never how, how, would, how would me as a person who showed up here the first time, if I didn't get a chance to show up here, how would I know the second time? Well, then, then, the then there's an imp uh, 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 improper notification. That's what I'm so, asking. So, yes. where asking. are you? That's what I'm asking, so I'm just confused. Where is your property? What number? I am on, uh, let's see, 1727. At the rear of the property on the southeastern side. But what he's, uh, they, trust, what he's saying is they received a notice the first, the first the time they were, they were going to be hearing. Yep. But then for this hearing, they did not receive a notice. No. Sure because they, because there was no, we didn't open the hearing. And since so we didn't open the hearing, there was no official continuation to today. So this is the first hearing. And where, there, where it was not noticed in the paper, then they would have been required to notify about us Regarding the meeting for today, uh, you should have gotten I would have never known if I didn't show up here. So, if, like he had stated before, there's other people that are not aware that this. Can you just give me your actual street address? Uh, 19 San Diego. 19 San Diego. Yeah. So, therefore, if those other people, as he's talking about, they have no idea this meeting is actually. I have. I have here that 19 Sandy Hill was sent out. In the first time, sir. The first time we were all talking about this meeting. Sir. Okay, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Um, this was on 523. I have the original notification right here on the chair that I received from the first meeting. I showed up at the first meeting. I was told by the board here that for somehow it got canceled or continued. But that's all we got. I never yep. received uh, another I notification. Was I supposed to receive another notification as far as far as today? Because I would have never known if I never showed up yet. So therefore, there are people that would have liked to come to the meeting that had no idea that it's going so on because they never so received the notice and they don't get the newspaper. So this is a notification, Dave. Yep. This notification is for the meeting that didn't happen. Okay. Because if you look over no, if you look over here, this is the date of mailing. May 5. May 5. Right. Okay. So that May 5th notification was for the meeting that didn't happen. Okay. So this is a certificate of mailing for that meeting that didn't happen. Do you have another one of these? No, I didn't re-notify the abutters for tonight because they were already notified in that meeting, it was my understanding, was going to be continued. No. no. So what, this, is going to get, what, this is going to get continued from tonight anyways. It, it doesn't matter. No, but what I can do is I can send out. You can't open. Yeah, we can't. No. Well, the butters weren't notified. Yeah, the were right. properly notified. So, but you already. But here's the thing: you already read the hearing yep. into record and opened the hearing, and then you and then. But the fact is, he gave us this, and we really didn't look at close enough to see. That it wasn't the notice for this meeting. So, we can ask so, so now that it, but, but it was properly advertised and we opened it. Whereas we have opened it and we now know that prop, uh, the abutters were not notified for this meeting. We can continue this hearing and, and then he has to notify yeah. all the abutters for the next hearing date yeah. that this is being continued to. Yeah, correct. Does he need to? No, because you already read the meeting with the record. Um, yeah. Can I ask a question? I don't think the original abutters list was certified. Did you guys certify the abutters list? Um, I believe so. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, do is we that, have is that a requirement? Hold on. Yeah, good point, Amy. You may have to <coughs> get a certified list. So get a certified, and then I can re-notify yes, the abutters. Yes, that's going to have the most up-to-date Okay. Yeah, that. I mean, I got to re-notify him anyway, so I can right. request that tomorrow. I, I may not. I could be incorrect, but when I yeah, peeked at it, I didn't see it signed by. No, the the list that he submitted wasn't certified. So I can get a certified list, request that. From, how, what is the process to getting a certified list? You just list? have to ask the assessor's office. The certified, okay. And then once I get the certified list, I'll re-notify Butters based on that list for the next hearing. Okay. 
I meant you got to tell them the specific date and time yes. of the hearing. Yes. Okay. I, that that's in the notice that was sent out. Right. The, I'm sorry. Are you? You're the real estate agent. No. No, what? I'm from Northeast Engineers. You're from Northeast Engineers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so the next, you have to, uh, if once we continue it, you have to let them know that you put over here May 17th, you have to put in the date of the year. Uh, uh, right, the, the next hearing. notice will be updated. So, well, whatever the, the, the new the hearing, hearing date is. Yep. Yes. Yep. But make sure you get a certified list from the assessors. First thing I do tomorrow. All right. Um, I apologize to the neighbors. That is, this is a. I've been here 20 years, and that's the first we've ever had of that. So I truly apologize that we didn't do our due diligence and look at the dates. Well, thank you all for being here. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's so, it's a so, different world. Yeah, every occasion, that don't always right. work. Like I said, some people, this, you don't get the paper. You wouldn't know yeah. if you didn't get the letter. You don't they stop them. So, right, as far as the flagging on the wetlands, I believe it goes in further onto the prairie property up here. Yep. I don't believe it. It, it doesn't drive that far in, I don't think. All right, well, that's, well, that, whether, that's, that's something that we'll no, look you at. Asked, yeah. You asked earlier, as far as we had a question on the mm -hmm. flagging, yep. in just 28, I'm stating for myself that I believe it goes up a little further towards, as she stated, her property. I believe it goes a little further up to her property. Okay. A little further in there towards South Street East. Yeah, and um, God, I forgot what I was going to say. Um, I drew a blank. Okay, yeah, but just a point of information, Doug. I drew a blank. Oh, sorry, sorry. I just a point of information. Yeah. It's one of those, and, and you really see that we're not of a, of a advocate for either side. But as a point of information, they can't really go on somebody else's property oh, to flag no, wetlands. No, I'm not stating it's on anybody yeah. else's property, yeah. so I'm stating yeah. that it's further in on the Perry property that he has flagged on me. That's what I'm stating. Yeah. They've cut a path. If you're looking at the house, they cut a path to the right. They went back <clears> with some type of machinery and cut a path. I believe it's a little bit further in towards South Trees, according to what he has flagged up. So there's, there's a culvert there, so the culvert is not... Well, we'll see all that and when we go out. And I just want to state that... The whole area right here in question of Weir's Ave in South Street, any tampering of any wetlands in this area is going to drastically affect every single butter in the back and on South Street. Okay, well, but you're you kind of pushing the cat before the horse. They haven't proposed any work yeah, yet. Yes, sir. I so, what, and, and once we, after we pro, uh, re review the wetlands and issue a decision on the wetlands, yeah. any work that they do will need a review by this commission. And then you will come out again and have a bite of the apple again at that time. I hope I'm going to have a big bite because, as we just witnessed earlier on the previous meeting, yeah, there's certain things that happen, unfortunately, that when you gentlemen go out to a property to inspect, that things get altered, okay, against board requests. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. Right? Because well, you know what? I, 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 just, I understand that. That's our objective, too. Yes. Well, and it's you, a tough job. That's you know, what I'm trying to say. You We're know, working on the same, the same page. page. Yes. You know what the law says? Frustration. You know what the law says? You can't drink and drive. Do people drink and drive? Yes. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> sure. So, okay. so you can only do what we can uh, do. Thank you very much. Yeah. I just wanted to say, yeah. no, oh, I appreciate you being here. I think the flags are a little bit further in uh, towards South Street. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask another question? You sure. said that they're not supposed to go on your property to tag anything, survey anything. I've got markers on my property. No one ever asked me to go over there. Okay. And around my land. All right, they shouldn't be. Yeah, no, I'm going to take this one. No, we'll think when we have to touch anything. Do we actually have a hard copy of that? Is there available copies for the... Well, it's a public record once it's delivered to us. So you have to go through a public record request. I came here, unfortunately, the office was closed. Yeah. And like I stated to you, I think, last time, I don't want to have to deal with engineers. and I want to get information from the town. Amen. Amen. What's that? That's why it's my last one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Hold on a second.
Do you look at other wetland delineations that have been done in previous years by the butters? Sir, sir. <laughs> What we look at is what's in front of us. So it's all new. You look so at we, we, we don't go back to see what a project was, you know, three streets over or whatever. Um, we, we have to look what it's, it's in front of us and what is the information. Okay, well, I'm speaking actually specifically because my land had a wetlands delineation done, and as an abutter, that would probably be insightful, correct, in terms of big picture um, for whatever the proposed project would be? Well, what you can do, just like this particle here and here, you can submit information that you believe will help the commission make a determination, because that's why it's called a public hearing. So any information that you introduce, they have to consider it. Okay. So, so just okay. it would be part of the record? Provide them. All right, um, so we need a motion to continue till July. Till July, till July well, 12th. Well, there's a, a June day. Oh, there is a June day. Sorry, I forgot about that. Do you want to try and get it done in June? Um, be June uh, 21st? I don't think he'll be able to make it. What? So with the certified list. Well that's that's up to him. If he doesn't make it, then you have to do it all over again. So because yeah. the applicant it, it's your it's your choice. We have the June twenty seventh meeting available. Twenty first. I mean twenty first. Okay. Or we have a July meeting available. July twelfth. I think it's going to take you a little bit of time to get the certified list. All right. So I will give you the option to decide which one well, you want to do. Yeah, I'd rather shoot for the June 21st and then see what happens with the abutters list. If they can, if it gets generated quick and I can get the notices out, say by the end of this week or beginning of next week, that would be sufficient time. Okay. Well, you, have to send out the, you have to send out the notices 10 calendar days. 10 calendar days. Before the hearing date. Right. So, yeah, so that would give, uh, they have to have the abutters list in by this, by the end of, I mean, I'd have to have the abutters certified list in my hand by the end of this week. Yes, and in I don't believe that. that will be possible. It's my understanding that it would take at least a week or better to generate an abutters list from the assessor's office. Okay. So I don't think it's feasible that you're going to get that in time. So my suggestion to you would be the July meeting. Just in case it does happen, though, I'd, I'd rather not push it out two weeks if it yeah. doesn't need that's, to. That's up to you. Right. And then, that's up to you, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah. No? Motion? Okay. Motion to continue uh, 110 South Street to the June, uh, June, June 21st 20 meeting. 2023. Second. Motion made second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Yes. You can check the website, and um, it will be on there the Monday before the meeting. We post our agendas on the uh, town website, and uh, you can see if it's going to be on or not. No, no. The, the well, notice, the the notice is responsibility on them. The, what, what they're supposed to do, he has requested a date for hearing, yes. which is the 21st. Yes. And he's not supposed to notify them. Yes. Right. So and I'm just, just I'm just saying know. that it will be on our, our website if they're scheduled to be on the Well, they're scheduled right now. Yes. Because the only thing that we need to know is he has to come to the meeting. He doesn't have to give us anything else until the meeting day. Okay. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to be on the agenda for the 21st because you have already continued the meeting to the 21st. Okay. So right. you're not going to be taking it off. Right. So, okay. so that so because you don't want to interfere with the notification process, you've are, you're given him the option to make sure that he has the opportunity to do it. He didn't take that option. He has exercised the option for the twenty first, okay. and that's what the commission has continued it to. So it will be on the agenda on the on the twenty first. We'll open the hearing, and the first thing we'll ask for is the notification. And if it doesn't meet that requirement. He can't have that here. Okay. All right. I, am, I, yeah, I was just trying to 
make life easy for everybody, but I get it. Okay. Yeah. You know what it said, no good deed goes unpunished. All right. And then the review, you're gonna you're gonna have a, a site visit out here? Would that not, be yeah, not until then. after that meeting we decide on the date. Not until after the meeting on the twenty first. Yeah. Okay. You, right. you you got you gotta understand it wasn't advertised properly, so we should, we should have caught this before you even started your presentation, yeah. but unfortunately we didn't. So the next meeting and basically starting fresh. Okay. The meeting got opened. I never saw it, but it it really shouldn't have because my mistake, I didn't look at the date on the notifications, but we did open the meeting because you advertised it. So for all intents and purposes, next meeting is you know, presentation. Is the presentation and we're starting You were confused. No, I just I, I don't understand why it can't be reviewed between now and then. I just don't. Because that, it, that's foreign to me. Because it never should have been open. Never should have been open. Right, but it, it, when an application is filed, it gives you it, permission to go out and review so, something. No, but until we have a public hearing, can we act on anything? We have to have. Uh, a yeah, I'm not hearing. asking to act. I'm just asking for. Well, for act the the going out there is part of an action. Going out there to visit it is an action. And part of the hearing process, which is which Mr. McCray has been trying to get across to you, part of the hearing process for them to go out. For example, we have an abada that introduced an apparent evidence of a culvert that connects this site to something else that's not shown on the plan. The, the existing conditions is very incomplete. That's right? off property. Right? Right? No, no, but if it's connected, if it's a culvert that is hydraulically connecting this site to another site, that is part of the wetlands resource delineation. But the culvert isn't on this property. The culvert is on the abutting well, property. Well, we don't know that. We don't know that yet. And so we have to gather all the evidence. Okay. Okay? All we right. have to gather all the evidence at a hearing, and then with that information, go out to, a, go out to the site to take a look. Otherwise, the commission will be doing several site visits. And they're, they're volunteers. They're not paid. And I'm sure you are paid to do your job. They're not paid. And so they're not going to be wasting their time. Enforcement order on you, and uh, you filed plans to um, fix the violations. Yep. Um, it's come to our attention that nothing has been done in that time frame, and uh, the board needs to know what's going on and when the violation is going to be corrected. We were told to wait out the winter. Um, I understand it's true. Yes. Okay. Right. But um, we're well past the winter. We've we've been pushing it off. Honestly, I'm sorry. Um, you know, money's a real thing. Where I'm 24, my brother's 26. We 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 work uh, constantly to, to stay alive. Um, what I can tell you is, my back was there. I brought my machine there um, two days ago. The the bin, there was like a box truck box that was in the back corner. That's gone by Friday. It's up front. Ram trucks coming to get it by Friday. Gone. What I'd like to tell you guys is there's a meeting on the 12th of July. If I was to bring to you photo evidence or if you guys want to do a site visit, 
prior to that meeting, I, I think I can have it completely wrapped up and restored. Okay, by and you understand that it's gotta be in accordance to Correct. the original paperwork filed? Correct. Okay? Yes. So I would suggest that um, you know, you coordinate all this with your engineer. Yep, that's, that's fine. You know, because at the end, we're gonna have to have the engineer uh, certify yep. that the work that has been done is done correctly in accordance to the uh, petition filed. Okay. So, comments from the board. I think we uh, we need to do a site visit to make sure that that's in compliance, not just look at photographic evidence. Yeah, no, I, I uh, yeah, that's, definitely. I prefer a site visit. That, that's fine. Okay. So what do you think will be a reasonable time for the commission to come out and see the work that you're doing? I'm going to start it this weekend. Um, I would say the week after Father's Day, would that be appropriate for you? So, so after the 18th, probably like the 20, 21st, 22nd, somewhere around then, whatever is more convenient for you. You're saying you could, you could have it all wrapped up by the July 12th meeting? Correct. Okay. Um, so I'll suggest we do a site visit. The week before? They were, uh, maybe you were two weeks before. Two weeks before. So that if there's any, if anything that hasn't been done properly, you will have time to address it okay. before the July 12th. All right. But the July 12th should be a drop that date. They can't be passed on July 12th. Uh, week of the 26th. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, I know you work during the day. So, is it okay if we come onto the property to inspect yeah. uh, the work yeah. sometime? Because we have to get our schedules together. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Just give me a day's heads up or an hour's heads up. I don't really. It doesn't bother me. Well, you just let us know when you're done. Sure. And then we'll just go out. Yeah. That's what I'll do. do it All right. So if you just. Um, call the office, leave a voicemail. Um, I get the voicemails and um, let us know the work's done, and then we will get out there sometime that week. Okay. Um, you know, I'll try and give you a call, let you know when we're coming. Okay. Uh, if you can be there, that's fine. If not, you have no problem. It doesn't have to be there. No, no, I don't have to shoot that. No. Okay. Well, we are looking to come out the 26th. We can on the 26th, 26th. Okay. Of, the of June. Week of the 26th. Sure. Of June, yeah. Okay. okay. All right. And I will warn you if things aren't moved along or We're on it. Yeah. done, yeah. there we will be fine. financial implications. All right, this has gone on way too long. I get right? it. We're trying to be lenient and accommodating, but we only can do so much. I understand. Okay. Thank you. All right, anybody else have any comments, questions? No. All right, thank you. Thanks. Everybody get a chance to read the minutes of May 20th, um, May 17th. Uh, motion to accept. Second. Second. Motion made and seconded. Is there any discussion? Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. 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 Uh, we've got a couple bills. Uh, one is for uh, money to get transferred from one account to another for postage. Why would we have to do that? Um, the church was requesting it. So, we're going to sign. And the second one is some gentleman next to me wants to get paid. Denied. I don't see No wonder he should have seen that. I don't see <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna say, I'll pick up the whip and start slapping. <laughs> Go home and have yourself a nice cold beer. We haven't had a meeting like that in a long time. Yes. <laughs> we had three. We had three tough hearings.
it's, right. it's, at this time, I, I can't um, see it. The, you know, we don't have any sites scheduled. Yeah. I have no correspondence. Um, when we get some site visits scheduled, I'll be more than happy to notify everybody. Maybe we will we'll answer us. No, nope. maybe you won't. <laughs> I doubt it. Couldn't have will. This is only a hobby. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so I need one more motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. Made second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.